I work with these intelligence services. I've been working with them for a fairly long time, around half a year. It so happened that a friend of mine from long ago who is currently living in Moscow had been in the employ of Putin, specifically in an organization dedicated to discord in Ukraine. This fact was reported to the leadership of internal intelligence and counterintelligence. I personally think that this counterintelligence should be working, not the SBU. Counterintelligence gave me the opportunity to investigate their connections, understand the flow of cash which comes into Ukraine, through whom and to whom, what political parties and personalities, and to what extent these groups are terroristic. Which territories are they financed by, how are weapons stocked, and what are their general plans? I don't have any negative feelings towards Babchenko, and I don't have any issues with Tsimbaluk. Tsimbaluk was chosen for this mission by counterintelligence because he is known for his activities in the ATO. He's a priest and would never kill a person, especially one who is unarmed. When he was chosen for this role, everyone knew that he would run to the SBU and tell them what happened. We knew that the murder would be staged, everything was clear, but it was only to get information from a Russian source, so we had to create the illusion of work in order to gain their trust. After this, we received a list of 30 people who they wanted to assassinate on Ukrainian territory, which was also given to counterintelligence. 